Hello guys, it's Sharif here with Engadget. I'm at MWC at the ARM booth and I'm holding a Samsung um, tablet, but it's a reference design. And it's, I think Samsung built it to sort of show off um, the concept of big dot little computing, which is something we're gonna hear more about. Um, and I've got Ian here from ARM, who's gonna explain, explain it to us. Hello Ian. So, um, big dot little. This is the Samsung Octa. How does it? How does it all work? Okay. So, uh, what the demonstration is going to go through is so there's some different use cases. Um, so here we have map navigation. And what you'll see here on the on the left hand side is it's showing you the core activity. Uh, and these are CPU matched. So it'll either be an A7 or an A15 uh, across the four sort of core configuration. And then on the left hand, on the right hand side, it's, uh, it's showing you how much energy. Uh, that the system's using at that point in time, so to up to maximum to 100%. So the more complex the task, you know, the more grunt you need on so the system, you run the A15, so it'll be a bit of power. But then, something like video playback, which essentially is you know, a little bit of control work, most of this being done by a video processor, it's very, very low power, then it goes, drops down to 25%. Map navigation, again, as you, as you do sort of like zoom, you need a little bit more power, the A15 kicks in for a second, goes high power, but then once that information's in there, it will drop back down to the A7. And again, you know, rendering a web page takes a bit of power, so it doesn't use the A15, it's a bit of grunt, but then as soon as you start scrolling, all the pages loaded, it drops back down to the A7. And this is where the power safety comes in with the So we have, I mean, there are devices out there now with four A7, you know, quad 4A7, yeah. the device is based on the A15, but this is about having the best of both worlds, four of each type, and then the device switches, hot switches, you know, between each between each type. Now, roughly, how much more um, power does it run, does it take to run the, the A15s versus the A7s, just in terms of, you know, to be so roughly about, you know, at the same frequency and everything else, it's about twice the power uh, for an A15 device, somewhere around that point. And we're seeing in typical use cases, where you have big little in a configuration where on average you're saving somewhere between 50 to 70 percent of the energy. I don't think I'm getting Ian, thank you very much. Thank you,